we're here at DockerCon 2017 and we're visiting the Banyan booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and where you fit into like the Docker ecosystem? Yeah, hi, sure, yeah. So our company is Banyan. Uh, we were founded in uh, a couple of years back in uh, San Francisco. And uh, so the main thing that we do is we provide application level security for microservices. So traditionally people have been using API gateways and TLS proxies to kind of guard your applications. And inside the data center they use things like network segmentation. But we believe these kinds of solutions just don't work as you move to microservices, because microservices enables you to break your applications into smaller pieces and then spread them across not just one data center, but multiple data centers. And these are typically ephemeral, they come and go, and they create a really large dynamic attack surface. And for that, we need a brand new solution, and that's what Banyan provides for you. Well, what are some of the uh, features of Banyan? Yeah, so Banyan has a, a couple of very interesting features that we can help uh, applications be secure. Uh, first one I would talk about is uh, TLS level uh, encryption. So we provide application to application encryption without any changes to either the application or the underlying infrastructure. And so with just click of a button, you can say these two microservices need to have TLS traffic between them and we take care of it for you, uh, irrespective of their protocols, that's one. The second thing I would like to talk about is application level uh, uh, authorization, so you can provide different APIs can can be can, can have access can be provided access to for different microservices depending on how privileged or unprivileged they are and so on. So we provide a really powerful policy language based on which you can specify your desired level of access control. And thirdly, we provide identity-based segmentation, which allows you to just segment workloads and say, hey, this identity cannot talk to that identity or cannot, you know, cannot reach it and so on. So these are the kind of things that we help with. And in addition, we also provide a, a real-time dashboard, which Tharun is going to show about, which, which will talk to you a little more about how it tracks these unauthorized events and show you a cool network map about which applications are talking to which other applications right down to the process level. Great. So, um, so what are some of the benefits of using Banyan? Yeah, so Banyan provides benefits across the board to different types of uh, personas, so to speak. On the developer side, the developers are responsible for putting in a lot of security, security functionalities inside their application. And now all that is yanked out and it's a separate layer that takes care of it for them in a much, in a much more secure manner. And in terms of operations people, they were again responsible for deploying these complex infrastructures, security infrastructures that were responsible for orchestration and talking to each other and so on. So all those, again, are kind of completely hidden in a simple click of a button kind of a platform that we provide. And finally, security people are interested in, uh, in enforcing strict policies at as fine-grained as possible. And that's again something that we easily provide with our simple dashboard which based on which they can actually uh, take care of it uh, you know, in an instant. Great. Um, so how does it compare to other like network solutions? Right, so network solutions traditionally have been what people have been using for segregating different applications, but the main problem is that they really don't have uh, true application context. And as you go into microservices, application is application context and application level authorization and authentication and uh, encryption is what makes the most sense if you want to be able to guard your applications very well. So we are kind of, so the focus has been to take this infrastructure security and kind of application security and merge it into this new microservices layer security. That is what we are providing right now for you. And uh, you talked earlier about maybe giving us a demo of the product? Yeah, I think Tarun uh, will come and talk to you a little more about uh, show you, uh, the product and show you some more parts of it. Yeah, great. Great, Tarun. So what are you going to show us? Awesome, so this is the infrastructure we have set up for you. We have a Kubernetes cluster that's running in one cloud, talking to a whole series of databases running in another cloud. So this is the Banyan dashboard. You know, in real time, we give you complete visibility into all your applications that are running, as well as all your services and our real-time event dashboard here keeps track of all the events. So let me go to the network map view and let me look at one of the applications that are running. You know, this application is called HelloCab and it's running across two clusters, a Kubernetes cluster and the database cluster. Let's zoom one level deeper and start looking at the actual hosts itself. So in this view, in our network map, you're seeing that this application is spread across a few different hosts. This view itself is really not very useful because Kubernetes you know, can schedule its containers and all the services pretty much anywhere. So Banyan provides another abstraction which is at the service level. 
So this is the view that makes the most sense. So a security administrator who's trying to understand an application can easily come to the Banyan dashboard and very quickly get full visibility into how the application is actually configured. Now, you can click on a given node, open it up, and you can get immediate visibility into what is actually running inside a VM, as well as you know, the actual link statistics, the protocols, basically have a complete understanding of how your application is configured at the application layer. Once you have done this, a security admin can then set up least privileged access controls on any of these given services. So you can go just with a click of a button, click on a service, and apply very tight access control policies. So our policies allow you to do mutually authenticated TLS encryption, layer seven authorization, as well as identity-based segmentation. Um, let me go to a slightly different account where there's a bad guy doing stuff. So I have another account set up here. Here we have a Docker Swarm cluster running a bunch of applications talking to the Kafka streaming platform. So now this is that account. So in this account, it's a slightly different set of applications, and we have fewer, fewer apps, but we start seeing a lot of red in our dashboard. And the red in our dashboard indicates that there's a service at risk, service at risk due to unauthorized access. Let's dive a little bit deeper and see what's going on here. So once again, we go to our network map and look at our specific service. We see that we have a few different clients accessing this service. It's a Kafka service, and here we've set up tight access control policies on the Kafka service. Some clients can access all the resources, while some other clients can only access specific topics inside this service. Back on the events view in our dashboard, the reds that we see correspond to clients that are accessing Kafka in an unauthorized manner. In this specific case, this client is trying to access a topic that it should not. So a security team in real time can both set up very tight, fine-grained access control policies and immediately be alerted if there's some anomalous activity going on. So this is an example of how you use Banyan to really enable security for all your microservices deployed across all your infrastructure, both traditional and modern, and a variety of different cluster managers. Great, well thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog. Thank you very much.